Now, this is just plain out pathetic, if you ask me. I followed the story yesterday because someone sent it to me and I, I, I had to lend my voice to it because you see the title, a black woman was attacked by a white male on the subway of the Q train in Brooklyn, of all places in Brooklyn, the Caribbean epicenter of the world. Probably have more Caribbean people in Brooklyn than any other part of the world, probably even in the Caribbean. I want you guys to look at this video and comment on it and tell me what you think. This is a serious, serious issue. Look at it, comment, tell me what you feel about this incident and what is causing this set of violent activities. Let's take a look. On the train, and this white man saw her and started punching her on her face because she was black. And he said because she was black. Yes! She was black. Punching her up in the face. Boom, boom, boom. And no cops right in sight. No cops in sight. A guy got beat up on the train. In Are you kidding me? That's her blood on the floor. What I do you, I don't know you. And he just held you and just started. Yes. We were ready. I'm gonna start. We were ready. Keep coming for us. Where we went? We jumped on the train because I ran up here looking for police. Not in sight. For the first time. Not in sight. Did he just break you? No. Just look kind of. Coming up from the, on the train. Sigh, sigh, sigh. Sad, sad, sad. I don't know. So I want to ask everyone, what is causing all of this stuff, boy? And we, we heard about the racist activities happening all over the country. But who would have think that that would have ended up in Brooklyn? Brooklyn of all places. Brooklyn? We all know about the gentrification that's been happening in Brooklyn, right? That is all I will say about that. Now, let me read the inside scoop on that story, right? So, News 12 reported on that story. They said a black woman was attacked, and, uh, was attacked off the Q train on Flatbush Avenue. A woman says that she was assaulted and stabbed by a man on the subway platform on in Flatbush. Cell phone videos that we just saw there showed the victim, Anne-Marie Washington. She sung Caribbean. She sung Trini. She could be a Trini. She sung Trini to me. So Anne-Marie Washington talking to police after she said that she was assaulted by a white man making anti-black statements. Community advocates said that it happens while she was inside of the Q station. Now, quick, quick, quick update right there. Quick note, I should say, right there. Inside the train station. So that means other people got a chance to see what happened. Did anybody go to the rescue of this woman? Did anybody try to defend this woman? I don't know. I don't see nothing in this statement or anything in any report said that anybody went to go to her rescue. I, I, I didn't see it. But anyway, let's continue to read the story. Washington said that a man shouted a racial curse at her while punching her in the face, chest, and stomach. Washington said she was checked over by the ambulance and on the scene who said that she was okay. So right after she got punched and and brutalized ambulance came they checked her they said she was okay she went home and it wasn't until let me get back the story here because this is a crazy story it wasn't until she went back home she went to a house something keep popping up every time i go to read this story so washington says she was checked by police 
uh, by ambulance on the scene and said that she was okay. And it wasn't until she went back home that she realized that she was stabbed by the attacker. So she was also stabbed. She went to the hospital. Guess what? She suffered a collapsed lung because of this. She didn't even know. She couldn't even feel that she actually got stabbed. I guess all the adrenaline pumping and all that stuff, she didn't even feel it until she got home. I think it was her daughter that saw it and realized that she had a cut on her body. When they checked, the woman had a collapse, excuse me, a collapsed lung. She suffered, uh, she also, okay, she, she, got a, she had a collapsed lung. She suffered from a collapsed lung that required surgery and a tube had to be put into her lungs. The MTA tells News 12 that it is working on the matter. Police confirm. Police confirm uh, that Washington server suffered minor injuries. Now, as I asked from the beginning, why is all of this hate crime anti-black? I'm not saying that it wasn't happening before. I'm not saying that this type of thing wasn't happening before. It was happening before. But I want to ask you guys, if you could make any correlation between anything that else that's happening today, why is it that it is becoming so prevalent, so popular? It's like somebody giving somebody a reason to show their dirty face now. It's like somebody telling people, like, yo, it is okay before they used to hide and do it, before they used to do it secretly, but it's not a secret no more. It is plain, in plain, broad daylight so everybody could see. Let me tell all you something. This is a serious case. And in Brooklyn, of all places, in Brooklyn, of all places, I mean, it could happen anywhere. But... I never expect to see something like this happen in Brooklyn. In the not not not, not in, because Brooklyn is a big place. On Flatbush Avenue. On Flatbush Avenue. Boy, you don't get more Brooklyn than Flatbush Avenue. You don't get no more Brooklyn than Flatbush Avenue. This is a sad occurrence. And the woman had to suffer a collapsed lung, had to be taken to the hospital. And right now, she have a tube in her lung. All because of some race, some person that had not, she didn't do anything to the person. She never whispered a word. The guy just came up on her, as far as reports said, and started to punch and lunge at her. For what? Somebody is bolstering people's argument to make them feel like this situation is okay. But it's not okay. It never will be okay. This is sad. This is sad. This is sad. This is sad, sad, sad. Brooklyn of all places. Guys, comment your sentiments at the bottom of this. I know every time we see something happen, we all talk about, okay, what could we do next? What could we do next? What this one is doing? What, that, or what could we do as a people? Sometimes we protest and why two weeks after? Protest just people forget about protests. So that I don't even think that I don't even think that would work. Resorting to violence, dying or work. We have to start and cultivate from the ground up and start to get ourselves into elected office. Boost up our black elected officials to ensure things like that don't happen in our backyard what about our kids and all of this stuff yo this is a serious thing this is this is brooklyn this is brooklyn sad comment on the bottom let me know what you think about this story sad